Welcome to the Davis Cantina. I'm Jamie. I'm Kim. And we're hoping you will join us in our journey to taste new wines, whiskeys, and other adult beverages. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, I'm one of those guys, love my beer, my Guinness, Nectar of the Gods, Lion Brown, my love from down under, and many others. What's that beer? What? <laughs> What's, I'm just trying to be funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but welcome to the Davis Cantina. I'm Jamie. I'm Kim. And this is our journey through tasting new whiskeys, wines, and other adult beverages. Woohoo! <laughs> I've always been a lover of beers. I love my Guinness. Lion Brown, my lover from down under. What? <laughs> I've never heard of that. Trust me, it was before her. <laughs> there was never a time before me. But I've never really given whiskey a chance. Yes, I've had some whiskeys here and there, usually cheap. Usually mixed with a Coke. I know, I know. Settle down. We're going to give it an honest shot this time. So, like I said, I've always admired how people just really love their whiskeys, but I love my beers, and I can attest to the fact that each beer is a little different, and some are good, some are bad, some are average. Well, I know whiskey's got to be the same, so here's my attempt at it. And Kim, why do you want to try whiskey? Outlander. <laughs> That's it. That's my only reason. I watch Outlander, they drink a lot of whiskey, and I want to try it. And I'm sure it's for a guy. Well, there may be another <laughs> Jamie in my life. No, there's only one, trust me. One. <laughs> well, the other one is fictional. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of women watched Outlander, and they, there's probably more than just this one that want to give whiskey a try because of it. So with that said, tonight we've got the high-end bottles here of some <laughs> Bushmills Red Bush. Never tried that. Crown Royal Black. I've had it in a lot of Cokes over the years. The Green Spot. Uh, and this is the single malt and I believe it's the 12 year Green Spot. Never even heard of it but I read a lot of good things online. And then we've got the Macallan 12 year double, double cask. So, got a little range of things from ultra cheap, I believe, but I've heard good things about Bushmills. It's actually what I was told to give as a try for a first timer, and then kind of stepping our way up to what we hope is the best. And we'll see. Got a little water just in case things get a little, uh, well, spicy. <laughs> and our, cleanse our palate. Cleanse about, also to cleanse our palate. Uh, we've got. I'm going to be get, stopping the camera and rinsing the glasses out every time in case people think we're actually just uh, contaminating the glasses. <laughs> but with that said, what do you say? Let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. So starting out with the Bushmills Red Bush, and like I said, I've never tried this one. So if I can get it open. I mean, look. I judge my wines by the labels <laughs> a lot of times. Okay, I don't know if I'd pick it off the shelf if I saw it. Okay, so what do we do first? Well, like any other wine tasting, let's uh, start out by color. It's got a nice little amber to it. I know we don't have good whiskey tasting glasses, but this is the best we have on hand right now. Our good ones are coming on Wednesday. <laughs> Speaking of Wednesday, if you've ever heard of Flaviar.com, that's what we're uh, going to be trying out. We've got their testing uh, kit coming, and uh, we'll have another video showing what we think of those tastes. So, what are you smelling? It's a very strong alcohol smell to it, <laughs> I think. That would be the uh, ethanol smell. That's, uh, I smell an ethanol. It's a little bit of sweet notes. All I can get is the alcohol. <laughs> Why not? Give it a shot. It's got a little burn to it. I'm not getting a lot of burn. I'm getting, uh, I can definitely taste the uh, ethanol in it. 
But you and like spicy stuff. I do like, that's a one point. I grew up in Texas, quite the chili and spicy kind of guy. I love jalapenos and everything else. Kim's not much on the spicy side. No. <laughs> but honestly, I would say on the grading scale, which, mind my notes, we've got a grading scale of one, why did I ever put this in my mouth? Two, not worth buying, but I can tolerate it. Three, drinkable, but nothing special. Four, I'd recommend it to a friend. And five, oh my gosh, keep giving me more. <laughs> so, with that said, I'd probably rate this one, oh, I don't know, probably between a two and a three. I'd give it a two and a half. It's, if I was sitting there at a bar, I'd probably give it another taste, and I would finish the glass. But I don't know that I would uh, necessarily order it in particular. Kim? Right now I'm kind of going with a, why did I put this in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> it almost came out of my mouth right there. So. I don't know. I would probably, my next step before just quitting on it altogether would be to put a little water in it. Let's give that a shot. See how it is with a little bit of water. How much water am I supposed to put in? Just try a little bit in there and see how it is. So this was about, mine's about half and half now, water and Whiskey, yeah, yours about the same. Do you taste anything different? It tastes watery. <laughs> <laughs> I am very technical. <laughs> uh, I still don't like it. You still don't like it. What is it you don't like about it? The burn. And it, it just tastes, it's got a very strong... I don't know how to describe it. Ethanol, alcohol? Ethanol, yes. So like tasting grain I alcohol like kind I'm of thing? like tasting grain alcohol. I would, not, I would not even sit at a bar and sip on this. So for me... Sorry to the whoever, the Bushmills Bush people. <laughs> so like I said, that uh, still to me, it's about a two and a half. Watering it down just tasted a little bit more mild. But with that said, I'm going to clean out the glasses and we'll get right back to you. Okay, we're back, and we're ready to try the next one. One, actually, I haven't had the black uh, version of Crown Royal, but I've had many a Crown Royal over the years. I was a Crown and Coke guy while I was in the Navy for, oh, probably about half the time, until I got over to Guinness, and then after Guinness, it was just pretty much all Guinness. That's all she's ever known me to drink, other than a gin occasionally. Speaking of that, we'll get to some gins later on. Tonight is all about whiskey. So with that said... Let's give the Crown Royal Black a little taste. Is this one of those bottles you bought on our cruise? Uh, I think so, which was several years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Shows you how often we drink okay. whiskey. As I recall, Crown Royal was more of a sweet uh, whiskey, sweet not quite as strong. Good. So over to the Crown, let's give it a smell. First off, it's got a much darker color than the bush mills. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that real strong ethanol smell either. It's definitely of... sweet mm -hmm. smelling. This bodes well for me liking it. I like <laughs> my sweets. Just like a woman. She loves her chocolate. It tastes vanilla. Tastes a little bit of vanilla. I get it's definitely got less bite than the Bushmills. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, it tastes thicker, if that means anything. Kind of like a heavier, more robust uh, taste. And well, I was gonna say let's add some water and see what it tastes watered down, but uh, Kim seems to like this one a little more. <laughs> I do like it much better. I could probably drink that one straight, but let me try it with a little water. Let's try it. Or isn't it neat when you just drink it without water? Isn't it neat? I don't know. How about you people give us some tips on what to call everything? Like I said, we're we noobs. know nothing. <laughs> we're the whiskey noobs. <laughs> so with that watered down, it's still, I think watered down is still a little bit darker than the Bushmills is straight. With that said, I could probably drink that all night long. I could too. There's no bite at all to it with mm -hmm. just a little bit of water. So 
I'd say that's probably, um, I'd definitely give that a three, maybe a three and a half on the scale. So I don't know if it, yeah, definitely nothing to write home about. Uh, right now I would say it's just a good solid, probably have a drink uh, in the evening kind of drink. Yeah, I could sit there and sip on this through the evening. Throw a little ice in there and uh, let it water down as it goes That's to kind of thinking. mellow out. I could probably start out, you know, and then just put the ice in and then just let it slowly melt. And I think, yeah, I'll give this a three. Nice. So we found one that uh, the women like, at least this woman. <laughs> <laughs> so with that said, I'm going to clean these glasses out. Might even finish it off. And then we're going to step up to the higher end drinks. Oh, you caught me. Cleansing the palate. So now... You don't have a nice Kansas City Chiefs mug to cleanse your palate out of. Unfortunately, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, so we got celebrated about, though, a little over a quarter century ago. These people have been celebrating for a couple of years, but... Well, this year wasn't quite <laughs> as good as last year. Thanks, Tom Brady. Just, yeah, Tom Brady. <laughs> so with that said, uh, why don't we give the green spot? I actually read a lot of good things about this as a good beginner's whiskey. And uh, Irish uh, single pot or I can't even talk. <laughs> single pot still Irish whiskey. Um, I guess we'll learn more and more about the different types as we go, but... A lot of good things about this one. First off, I will say, looking at the packages, you've got the airline version over here in the mini <laughs> bottle. Got that one a little while back, and we also had some Jameson in the little bottles. I don't know if the little bottles aren't as good as the bigger ones, but neither one of us were impressed with the Jameson either. Uh, Crown, probably a step up from that bottle. Got the plastic top, um, nothing special. It's what I would expect to find in your neighborhood liquor store. Now this green spot, I will say it's got the, uh, oh, it looks like it's probably a plastic top with a cork. Looks but like a wine bottle. It's kind of the next step up. And let's give it a little pour, see how she looks. One for the lady. Thank you. With that said, I'd say... A little probably lighter than the crown. I'd say it's right between the crown and the bushmills color-wise. And probably, hmm, I don't know it, do, it doesn't have near the bite of a smell, it doesn't smell near as strong as either one, mm -mm. but not as sweet as the crown. It smells very mild, so let's yeah, see. Yeah, definitely would say it smells mild. Let's see if it tastes mild. Personally, I would say it's, it's got a little burn going down. Yes, it does. But it was real creamy on the uh, tongue. And not really any bite in the mouth that I could speak of. I just a little bit, but once again, my tolerance <laughs> for anything <laughs> spicy, peppery is. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting no pepper. I, I taste the vanilla. I've heard... I do uh, taste the vanilla. That pretty much every Irish whiskey you'll get out there has a very strong uh, vanilla flavor. I, I taste that. Um, not real earthy. Um, personally, I I I give that one a I'd say a four. I'd probably order that one because it's it's mild, doesn't bite in the tongue, it burn going down a little bit. Let's see how about another taste goes. Yeah, no burn in the mouth at all. And actually, that went down pretty smooth. I know some people can't stand the term smooth. Um, but once again, I'm getting a little bit of burn in the chest, nothing in the mouth. Let me try it with a little bit of water. I get a little bit of burn on my tongue, right at the very front of my tongue. Watered down, uh, probably pretty close to the Bushmills. It's at about a half and a half watered down. I don't think I would drink this watered down. Uh, maybe with some ice, but once it starts watering down, it's really diluted. What do you think? It is definitely diluted. I don't know that I would order this. I'm liking it. But you like the crown better? I did. Well, Which we is? all have our own taste. But I would say this one, I wouldn't drink it with water, 
but uh, I would definitely drink it straight, and it's probably something I would uh, I would drink it at a bar over the Crown. Uh, personally, Crown I would need a little bit of water with it, um, but this one I kind of liked it straight. I definitely do not like it with the water in it. It tastes. <laughs> I, I don't want to say it tastes watered down, it tastes different. Um, I think when it was uh, straight, we were looking at, uh, it had some solid flavors, and like I said, it was uh, real soft on the tongue, um, almost chewy, like bubble gum in a way, Ta not taste-wise, but the texture had that softness to it. And so far, that's my favorite. I'm kind of going right on, along in the line of how I would expect, not caring at all for the Bushmills, kind of liking the Crown, and the Green Spot I kind of like. I can drink it. I would drink it. But if there's some, hopefully there's something I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you like the Crown. I right? did like the Crown. So We got one more to drink. Time to clean these up and give it another shot. And we're back. We've gone through the first three here. It's time to try number four. I'm looking forward to this one. I actually cheated and read the back of the bottle to see what kind of <laughs> notes I should be tasting. I will. And I'm oh, excited. So. It sounds like something I, I would like. I will say this is the McAllen Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 12 years old, double cask. And she is a fan of Highlander, so... That's just what I was going to say. <laughs> Highland, I should like this. It's Outlander. So, we'll get into the notes later on. For now, finish with the looks. I would say bottle-wise, uh, it's got a little, little fancier cut of the bottle. Um, kind of a diamond at the top. And, oh, kind of almost an oval instead of a regular round. I'd give it... Uh, the cork is about the same as on the green dot, and the yeah, plastic top with the cork center, so definitely a nicer bottle. And one for the lady. Thank you. So here we are. You can kind of see in the bottles, pretty close to the green spot, but uh, not near as dark as the crown, much darker than the Bushmills. It smells good. I'm smelling it. Does it smell like cinnamon? And I completely forgot what I read on the back of that bottle. <laughs> I just remembered it sounded like You probably good. said it smells like cinnamon on the back, or the undertones of cinnamon there. I don't know, I'm kind of getting a... I know I said vanilla. That's what made me excited. A little bit of vanilla. I can kind of see the cinnamon, but... It's going to sound odd, but like a wood glue? I don't know. Hopefully... <laughs> I'm a woodworker, so I smell a lot of wood <laughs> you glue. You smell way too much of that. I think you've got some brain cells going. So, here we go. What do you think? Tastes a little bit like nail polish remover. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I, I'm going to end up being a whiskey person. Well, we're going to find out over the next few months. For me, I, I almost want to say this is the big brother for the spot, green spot. Um, it's got a more serious taste to it. Uh, and I think that smell I'm getting, I think it's kind of a leather a little bit. And... Can I reach in front of you and grab the bottle? Thank you. So, for me, I would definitely say it's, uh, it, it just tastes more serious, if that makes any sense. Um, more complex than the green spot. I think I like the green spot better right now, just because it seems to be a little more mellow. And what are the undertones? Well, it says, it's got vanilla, citrus, and butterscotch take center stage. That's why I was excited about it. Vanilla and butterscotch, that sounded right up my own. I think the butterscotch is probably that leather uh, taste. I, I could see it being butterscotch. And it says rich fruits, sherry, and ginger. 
I know it was, I believe, finished in uh, sherry casks, and I can see that I can taste the sherry in it a little bit. Let's try it with a little bit of water. Um, personally, I think. So each time we're diluting it about half and half with the water, and as you would expect, a little lighter color. I still like the crown best. Actually, half and half with water, I think I could taste the drink this all night long. Um, I taste the butterscotch a little bit more with the water in it. I could drink it. That's an improvement. <laughs> you said you couldn't drink it just a minute ago. Yeah. So maybe tonight when we sit down and watch our movie, maybe try this with some ice and let it dilute and see what I think. So to give our final grades once again, to give you the listing of the grades and excuse my notes again, but a grade of one, why did I even put it in my mouth? This. <laughs> eh. You like it. After drinking the others, I would probably give this a two, which is not worth buying, but I can tolerate it. So, honestly, sorry Bushmills fans, that one won't be in this house. No. Uh, number three, drinkable, but nothing special. And for you, that was the McAllen, I believe. Yes. So. Actually, that and the green spot. So you, both of these are... Were threes for me. You could drink them, but nothing special. I could drink them. I would drink them. I would not go out of my way to buy it. Number four, actually for number three, that would kind of be, you know, I'd say a three and a half on the crown for me because uh, number four, once again, I would recommend it to a friend. Uh, the crown, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um, it's definitely, and I've proven it over the years, good with a Coke. She's had it with Cokes and Diet Cokes. Um, when you put it in a Coke, it's really sweet. Uh, and I think the fact that it's a very... Uh, heavier, I mean, you can see the darkness, uh, probably blends with a Coke well. These others, I might be able to tolerate a Bushmills and a Coke, uh, but I don't know that I would order it over a Crown. By far, the Crown's much better. i call the Crown a good solid three and a half for me, and what would you call it? Well, I don't know that I'd recommend it to a friend because, well, first of all, I feel like everybody already knows about Crown. <laughs> So I don't need to recommend it. But there but, are other noobs out there just like us. But I'm a total noob and I've heard of Crown my whole adult life. So, I don't know. But, out of these four, that's the one I would pick off of a shelf and buy. So you'd give that a solid three? Yes. Nothing special, but if you were at a bar ordering whiskey, you'd have a Crown oil. Yes, I would. And for me, I'd have to reverse the orders here. I would say the McAllen. I'd recommend it to a friend, but probably somebody who has had whiskeys before, um, because it's it just seems a little more complex to me. Um, which, uh, it's a Scotch whiskey, I believe. It's not an Irish whiskey. Scotch whiskey written on the back there. Like I said, I'm a noob, sorry. <laughs> but uh, definitely could tell it's a, a more... Uh, robust, more uh, technical uh, whiskey, and I'd, I'd recommend it to somebody who has drank whiskeys before. Maybe not, you know, drinking a five thousand dollar Pappy Van Winkle or something crazy like that. Pappy Van Winkle? Is yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, it's a big name. And Actually, I think they're about two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars for a bottle of whiskey. I've seen people sell them on eBay for thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't know if they sell, but people put them up there. But yeah, I would recommend that to somebody who drinks whiskey, likes whiskey, but hasn't really branched out. Um, don't know if it's for me yet, but give me a couple of months and we'll see where that bottle's sitting at that time. But the green spot, I would have to say, um, it's not quite, oh my God, keep them coming, number five, but it's a solid number four. Uh, I think with a little bit of ice, uh, even before it gets watered down, that's... So far, for me, the best whiskey. Um, it's kind of mellow, it's, it tastes good, no real burn other than, like I said, I, t I felt it in my chest as it was going down. Um, no burn in the mouth. Um, 
I had a little bit. Little bit. Did you have any burning on any of these going down your uh, in the chest? That one a little bit. The bushmills burned a lot. Yeah, bushmills was like drinking jet fuel almost to me. <laughs> I think you said it, not me. But with that said, sorry, bushmills people. Crown, you got a solid product. McCallum, uh, keep them coming. We'll get back to you. And the green spot, uh, solid recommendation that I found out there on the internet. And like I said. Next week, we've got a package coming in from Flaviar.com. We'll uh, let you know and let you see how that tasting box goes. With it is coming a bottle of gin that I ordered. I'm a big gin drinker. And next week, we'll have a lineup of gins and also the tasters box for the whiskeys. We don't know if we're going to do them at the same time. may do them separate or we may just uh, throw it all in together. And let us know of any recommendations that you may have for us to try for our next uh, four or five whiskeys. I think any more than that, and it starts getting a little diluted. So if you've got recommendations for us whiskey noobs. Definitely noobs. Uh, let us know. And we'll also be doing, like I said, we're going to be doing gins. We'll be doing beers and wines before too long. Wines. <laughs> that is my jam. Yep. Wine. We should do tequila, too. We do have tequila. We've got some good tequila in the house. She's a big tequila and wine drinker. I'm a gin and beer drinker, so somehow we get along. We've <laughs> <laughs> been getting along for quite a while. And let us know what you'd like us to try. Hopefully no rot good out there. Uh, just mainly things we can actually get a hold of. And nothing, like I said, the Pappy Van Winkle might give that a shot in like 20 years when we can afford it. Unless somebody wants to send us some, we'll try it for you. But until then, enjoy life, enjoy drinks, and abide. Cheers.